Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve for this SAT problem. The semicircle above of the radius of R and S and chord C D is parallel to the diameter A B. The length if the length of C D is two thirds of the length of A B, what is the distance between the chord and the diameter in terms of R? Okay. So first thing we have to do is we have to make labels on this diagram. Let us label the center of the semicircle as O and the center of chord C D as E. Okay, and we draw a line here. We are actually looking for this distance E O. And it is given that C D is equal to two thirds of A B. And actually, we only need half of half of CD. Okay, so half of CD is actually equal to two thirds times one half of AB. Okay, so one half of CD. Is actually equal to two thirds of, but one half of AB is equal to R, and that is the radius of the semicircle. So let us label this as R. So one half of CD is two thirds R. This means that this CD and half of that is equal to two thirds of R. Okay, so actually this could this is a right triangle. We draw a line here from C to O. Actually this C to O is a radius also because it is a point on circle connecting to the center. Okay, so we now have R as C O and C E as Two thirds R. We can solve EO as in a Pythagorean using the Pythagorean theorem. So EO squared is equal to CO squared minus CE squared. Okay, so EO squared is equal to the hypotenuse is R squared. The hypotenuse is R squared minus the leg, one leg squared, so that is two thirds times R squared. Okay, so EO squared is equal to R squared minus, if you, if you square this, this becomes four over nine r square and e o square is equal to if you, you, you simplify this you you have nine as the lcd and nine divided by one is equal to one times nine so nine r square minus nine divided by nine is equal to one times four four r square so you have e o squared is equal to 5 r squared over 9. So if you get the square root of both sides, you have e o is equal to r square root of 5 over 3. And that is letter D. Thank you for watching. Until the end of the video, please like this video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated with more math tutorials like this. Thank you. Bye.